We're ready now. All right. Uh, my name is Victoria Sobel. I'm a 22-year-old uh, activist and art student at Cooper Union, and we are at the May Day Student Convergence meeting. It's our third meeting, um, and we're doing a breakout session right now about what different groups are going to be doing to prepare for May Day as far as students and laborers are concerned. So we've got one group that's meeting about social media, one group that's meeting about the actual convergence, and one group that's meeting about how students can continue to organize beyond May Day. Um, a lot of these people have met during Occupy. Some of us have met uh, in the aftermath of Occupy from different groups that have um, sprouted from Occupy, and others of us have come from pre-existing groups at our schools and institutions, many of which are suffering from heightened uh, tuition and fee increases, cuts to labor, cuts to faculty, and so even though all of our institutions are facing different struggles, there is a lot that, that brings us together as far as student debt, as far as access to education, as far as public and private schools, and it's been really powerful to see um, students come out from Cooper, from Cooney, from the Grad Center, Graduate Center, from NYU, from Medgar Evers and Hunter, um, and so we've had a really good turnout so far, and it's uh, it's powerful to see that maybe something as small as this meeting could turn into a broader social movement in the future, like we've seen happen in Chile, like we've seen happen in Montreal and Quebec, um, and so there's a lot of potential for us. You mentioned that you are from, uh, a student at... Uh... Yeah, I'm a, I'm a senior at the School of Art at Cooper Union, and um, we've been going through, it's more than two years, but the last two years have been concrete issues with the new administration wanting to impose tuition for the first time in uh, 150 years. The school was founded based on merit-based full scholarship education and making education accessible to women and people of color. So we see this administration's attempts to globalize the school, to make it re something that's rebranded, more of a polytechnic as something that really is counter to the mission statement of the school. Um, and that's a trend that I think schools like NYU, schools like Medgar Evers also experience the same types of trends uh, with schools trying to globalize and trying to kind of branch out. Um, usually it's at the cost of students and faculty. Can you mention the free school, free university, or right? Yeah, I haven't yet, actually. So we've been working on May Day before the student convergence. Uh, Cooper Union is also going to be holding a free university in conjunction with the group Free University NYC. They did last year's free university, uh, which was a major success. They've also done some free universities in Bed-Stuy, and we're plugging the event to educators, to students. You don't have to be a professional. You can be anyone. You can teach whatever you want. It's all about just bringing a skill that you have to share or, or an idea that you have to workshop and bringing it to a public space where people can just do what we're doing here and sit together and really learn and uh, this is kind of how people really do learn in the real world it doesn't have to be within the walls of an institution so we're we're kind of challenging that uh, the idea of institutional space public space and what the where the two are similar and where they're different in terms of learning and pedagogy so um, you know I think we're making great steps well, Collectivist Media, thank you, Victoria Sobel. No problem. Thank you, bud. Now we want to have a few words from a lady from Medgarver's uh, school. Well, we have... What time, okay. what time is it? Um, I think it's at 2 o'clock. Um, hey, it's 2 o'clock. She's busy now, so... Yeah. 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 May Day student participation in the May Day events. I want to tell you where we are. We are at Washington Square in the midst of New York University. All these buildings here are New York University. And of course, as I said, we are at Washington Square in New York City. That is Fifth Avenue on the other side of that monument. And I want to show you 
the new World Trade Center in New York City. I don't know the sunshine, but uh, that is the new World Trade Center, replacing the collapsed old World Trade Center. Washington Square Park here is the meeting place of many groups, many people, musicians, actors, there's a piano player over there, with a piano actually here. Yeah, it's another great As soon as you're ready, you'd like to say a few words about Mega Rosario? Yes, and what you're doing to participate in the May Day event. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, wait, let me think real quick. Let's have a large uh, That's all right. Just be casual. Huh? Just be casual and say whatever you can make. Who you are. Okay. Where I'm from. Yes. And the significance of May Day. Yes. Okay. My name is Evangeline Byers. I'm a student at Mega Evers College studying childhood special education. I'm really excited and enthusiastic about the May Day event, about the, the, the May Day convergence, where students from around the city are kind of come together to fight against this corrupt system of denial of access to education um, for students of color and also for students that are in private universities and all of the dis disenfranchisement that is happening throughout the system. That's fine. Thank you for Collectivist Media. Thank you. I'm Bud. Okay. <laughs> As soon as others are free, we, I think we might have a few more interviews. But now I think I'll mount this on the... Uh, and then say something myself. It's going to be a little bit of uh, a movement here of the camera because I'm mounting the camera on the tripod. They say, I'm Bud, Collectors Media, and the Collectors Commonwealth. I just wanted to say a few words that May Day, of what is May Day? May Day is a, an event of people seeking freedom from oppression, of course, but mainly seeking freedom from labor oppression. They are seeking freedom from the competition of labor who must compete and war with each other for a livelihood. Now, collectivism is democratic control and possession of the means of production and distribution as a whole collectivist society. It is the participation of direct democracy through referendum. But of course, in any society, you do need people who 
you might say, representatives. But they are subject to immediate recall and they are only representing for a specific purpose and for a specific duration. But the emphasis is on making referendum possible through communications of the people and participation in the, their activities, in their livelihood. Now, I wanted to speak a little more of May Day and the people seeking freedom from the competitive disharmony of buying and selling personal property of labor, the necessity of warring with each other, with various factions competing against each other for livelihood. And collectivism is the thing that brings harmony among the people because they do not have to compete with each other for a livelihood. They can work together in harmony. As I just say, that is what May Day has been throughout history, especially since the Paris Commune in France, where people had a greater participation in a democratic participation in their livelihood by getting rid of the kings and queens of the world. And of course, the people here, many of them are people who have original people from Occupy Wall Street, which Victoria Silva was among the original participants in Occupy Wall Street at Liberty Plaza, New York City. Now that was for a purpose. That was a protest against the corporate monopolization of our livelihood and the cause are the supporter of the monopoly competition to see who is going to be the greatest monopolist in a fight for Mussolini's corporate fascism. As I say, this is all to bring harmony among the people through the elimination of the need for buying and selling personal property of labor. And collectivism brings that through democratic control and possession of the means of production and distribution as a whole collective society. I'm Bud, Collectivist Media and Collectivist Commonwealth. Now, while I was talking, I see most of the people have left. The, I was going to have a couple of other interviews, but I'm going to have to be satisfied with the interviews I have for now. Uh, for the, this is the 11 days before the May Day events in New York City. And the, like as last year, we expect a very large event. This is April 21st, Sunday, the year 2013. And as I say, this is preparation for the May Day, May 1st, Wednesday event of 2013. I'm Bud and that's what I have for now. I'm going to put this on YouTube.
And I just wanted to also to mention that on June the 7th, 8th, and 9th, the left forum will take place at Pace University here in New York City. And that also is a very large event in New York City. So I hope to see you at those events. May Day in the left farm on June 7th, 8th, and 9th. I'm Bud, Collectors Media and the Collect and Spokes Council of the Collectors Commonwealth.